Lovely, okay. So the first piece we're gonna do is something I wrote uh, when I was in college, ironically called Ingenue, and it's just a little instrumental piece we wanna start out with, warm up our fingers and stuff, you know. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to do a song now. This is um, the, the title cut of the uh, last album I did probably about a year and a half ago. And uh, it's called Wheels of Commotion. And uh, Michael was on this album as well. And when something looks good You know you just can't stop the notion And you can never hold back The wheels of commotion Once a lie has been told you know the damage is done and there's no turning back when a rumor's on the run but you can never hold back the wheels of commotion Want 
want to be wanted, but we don't want to be had. starts to wear, you can't stop the motion. And when something looks good, you know you just can't stop the notion. But you can never hold back the wheels of commotion. Once a lie has been told, you know the damage is done, and there's no turning back when a rumor's on the run. But you can never hold back the wheels of commotion.
I'm going to, um, oh, i got to find this now. I put things in order and then, sort of like at home, you put things in order and then before you know it, they're not. I sometimes think that's like the bane of existence is spending your entire life trying to get things in order. Actually, George Carlin did a great routine on stuff, if you ever get a chance to hear that. <laughs> stuff, yeah. <laughs> Mine is just getting stuff in order, you know, it's just like, okay, well. So, I think you'll recognize this. Uh, I did a little arrangement to it. Thank you so much, and of course, that was a great Neil Young song. For, for any of you that are, you're, you're all probably not old enough, but I am, to remember uh, 
Well, that was the name of the album, right? After the, was it after the gold rush? Anyway, it's a great Neil Young writer. He's, he's, I love his writing. And uh, especially calling the shots in the 1970s, and now here we are. So we're going to do another song now called... Well, this is about a relationship. You guys might know this one, too. It's what happens when a relationship sometimes goes in another direction. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do the... Yeah, yeah. Um, this is called Just Friends.
Huh? And I think Stan lived in Irvington, didn't he? Yeah. And um, this is a very different Irvington. That's right. That's right. Mike goes like this. Stan went like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is a song about musicians. I hope you like it. It was written by Kevin Hyatt and myself. Kevin's a writer that does a lot of stuff out in L.A. You know, some of the stuff that you hear on TV, play-ons. You know, if you're hearing the news or if you're hearing a... Uh, a calamity scene in a movie or something like that. Kevin, uh, apart from having a great big band out there in L.A., uh, made a living out of writing music for movies and, and, and TV, um, getting that stuff licensed. So he and I wrote this together, and uh, it's called Pocket Change. That's appropriate, right? <laughs> You've got to keep on reaching out and try and get there and show you do care about a standard you can reach the process pulls you right along to a conclusion with some applause and some deep pocket change Systemic of this thing called life, it's rather frantic, sometimes pedantic. You need somebody in the band to help to put it in the pocket till you get there. Then you can blow your horn and rearrange. We're on a train of thought and magic, swing of time and change. We got the funk and all the hat tricks. You better kick it or rue the day. Sometimes we wall, sometimes we peep up or we blast it. I'll find a basket to lay our goodies on the ground. Round a weave a spell beyond the groove or just go past it. Take time and lock it for some pocket change. And some deep pocket change Systemic of this thing called life It's rather frantic Sometimes pedantic You need somebody in the band To help to put it in the pocket Till you get there Then you can blow your horn And rearrange We're on a train of thought and magic We're on a swing of time and change We got the funk And all the hat tricks You better kick it Or brew the day Sometimes we waltz Sometimes we beep up All we blast it I'll find a basket to lay our goodies on the ground We will spell me on the groove or just go past it Take time and lock it for some pocket change Take time and lock it for some pocket change And we can see what we can rearrange Take time and lock it Yeah, Michael <laughs> Mr. Michael Getz. Thank you so much. Kevin out in LA. See, did you hear that? Um, well, Michael and I had one rehearsal, but over the years we've played on a lot of different projects together and stuff. And uh, I consider Michael a good friend and uh, a beautiful bass player. So. so. I'd like to dedicate this to a man that made a difference. This is, this is to Martin Luther King. Written by Marvin Gaye.
Yeah. Yeah. Once you hit 35 years old, you know, you, you just got to stand up. You know.
Why not, right? <laughs> and thank you for the background vocals. What a difference. And, you know, that was, that was written, when was that? 70 years. No, it was What? Marvin Gaye wrote that? At least it has a copyright on it. 50 years ago. Yeah. I mean. So here's a, here's a fun song, and I don't know who wrote it, but the first time I heard it was on a Nat King Cole album. And my dad used to bring all this stuff home. My dad was a music lover and a musician, and um, he'd bring all this kind of stuff home. And so the first time I heard somebody do this was Nat King Cole. And subsequent to that, Diane Krall did a beautiful album with this on it as well. how smart I am. <laughs> I couldn't answer one of those questions. No way. Although that's pretty good. They had the playoffs in Jeopardy, right? Who's, who's the winner now? Ken Jennings. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then, then they had the Vegas guy that would he'd, he'd bet everything. I can't remember what his name was. But I heard it was pretty good. Um, and I think uh, Alex Trebek, I think he's doing well. I think he's... Um, that has nothing to do with this song. Give it to me on the side You know a guy's gotta eat And a guy's gotta eat right Five will get you ten I'm gonna feed myself right tonight I don't want fish cakes and rye bread You heard what I said Waiter, please, I want mine fried I want the frim fram sauce with the awesome bay. Give me some shafafa on the side. Feed myself right tonight. 
I don't want fish cakes and rye bread You heard what I said Waiter, please, I want mine fried I want the frim fram sauce with the arson vein I want the frim fram sauce with the arson vein The frim fram sauce with the arson Give me some shafafa on the side Just a wee bit of shafafa on the side <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and if you ever in your travels run across the Nat King Cole version of that and also Diane Cross, absolutely beautiful. Such, a, there's many uh, definitions, uh, many ideas of definitions of what from fram sauce and all that stuff means. You know, how, how people go off on that stuff. And like, um, so I leave that up to you. to do an original right now that uh, I wrote quite a few years ago <clears throat> when I was very optimistic. <laughs> you know how that goes. A little like a bossa nova. the first except the next time and nothing beats an opening but a closing line nothing beats before but now it seems memories but the dreams give yourself an appetite for tasting something sweet and reach that hidden passage you can feel way down deep paint yourself some scenery in the trees nothing beats the memories but the dreams keep up with your own dreams don't be proved a liar the seed was planted long ago inside you burns his fire higher nothing beats his feeling but the need to feel it more nothing beats revealing that long forgotten door beats before but now it seems nothing beats the memories nothing beats the memories nothing beats the memories but these trees
Oh my gosh. Speaking of bossa novas and stuff, this is an um, Antonio Carlos Jobim tune. It's actually a samba written about one note. You may have heard it before. It's called One Note Samba. He could have called it Eight Note Decophony, but it wouldn't have made sense because it's, really, it's only one note, so. Or something like that. are bound to follow but the rule is still this note this new one is just a consequence of the ones we've just been through as they're bound to be the unavoidable consequence of you there's so many people who may talk and talk and talk and just say nothing or nearly nothing i have used up on a scale i know and at the end i come to nothing or nearly nothing so I come back to my first note As I must come back to you I will fall into this one note All the love I feel for you Anyone who wants the whole show Remy Faso la di do He will find himself with no show Better play the notes you know is just a consequence of the ones we've just been through as uh, they're bound to be the unavoidable consequence of you there's so many people who may talk and talk and talk and just say nothing i've used a bowler scale i know when at the end i come to nothing a little nothing come back to my first note as i must come back to you pour into this one note all the love I feel for you Anyone who wants the whole show Rima Faso La Dido Find himself with no show Better play the note you know He will find himself with no show Better play the note you know He will find himself with no show Play the note you know Thank you. And thank you, Antonio, for that song. Now here is, I like to derange things sometimes. <clears throat> I'm sure my wife is not crazy about that, but and that's my wife Barbara out there and my daughter Jessica, and I'm very happy to see them here. We all put in a lot of miles together. Literally, yes, from California to here and back. And so <clears throat> this is a slight derangement of a Ray Davies tune from the Kinks. <clears throat> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm so tired Tired of waiting Tired of waiting for you I was a lonely soul Didn't have nobody Till I met you time what can I do it's your life and you can do what you want do what you like but please don't keep me waiting please don't keep me waiting because I so tired, tired of waiting, tired of waiting for you, so tired, tired of waiting, tired of waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to do a little instrumental for you that I actually wrote when we moved back from California. <clears throat> the great Pete Seeger was having a harvest fest. Oh, no, no, it wasn't called Harvest Fest. It was called River, uh, you know, for the clear water. Uh, yeah, yeah. I put them all together. Thanksgiving, Harvest Fest, the buffet battles, and I put them all together. Um, <laughs> But anyway, I wrote this, for, we had just moved back to Hastings, where Barbara and I are originally from, and, um, and I wrote this instrumental for that. It's called Riverfest. Oh, you have those readouts. I forgot all about that. It's like, 
build intrigue around songs. No, it's right here, baby. It's right there. What am I trying to do here? Um, let me get the right. I, I thought I had to announce the songs and stuff, and I realized in this second that I actually had written them out, and which is a good thing to do. You know. <laughs> just talking about the bees, right? Uh, buzzed out on coffee. I don't know if I should do that. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to try this. This is uh, something I wrote. <clears throat> when I, you know, you have your moments of time where you want to express yourself. And apart from all the complaining that I do, I sometimes write songs about, uh, you know, something that I'm feeling. And uh, this is, I guess, somewhere in a valley of getting into the middle age category. Of course, I'm still middle aged if you live to 112 or something. <laughs> no, I still be middle aged if I live to 120. So I, it's all relative, you know. They were, I mean, well, George Burns made it to 100, right? I think he made it to 100. And he was drinking martinis and smoking cigars every day. So I don't know what the science on George Burns is, but it's pretty amazing. This is this is called when the where the sidewalk ends. I've been up and down the street so many times. This road I'm on has led me through my pride. Sometimes the dreams don't see the light of day. 
the road we're on is crucial By the way, close the gate behind you Make amends, okay Gotta walk it off till twilight has begun Stop along the way to have some fun Well, I know this funky place right off the line Take a turn if you're so inclined But close the gate behind you This bird's eye view of a soul in doubt Trying real, real hard just to figure it out Sometimes it's sitting there hiding in plain sight I can see the light You know the soles of my shoes are wearing thin there's a hell of a lot of places that I've been But I've been looking for one thing and found another I know I'm crazy as a loon, but let's begin Close the gate, but how did you make amends? Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know if we should do Buzz Down and Coffee. I'm a little afraid. Huh? Any? Yeah. That, I don't know. Maybe I should. We should try maybe a little bit of it. All right, we'll try this. Be kind. No, no, no. We'll. Um, this is a song I wrote about coffee. You know, speaking about those moments of time where you just want to express yourself, and this, this was after a couple of cups of coffee, so. What's your favorite flavor of coffee? Oh my gosh, I am so unsophisticated when it comes to coffee. I know now I should know about lots of coffees because it's so in vogue and stuff, but I'm <clears throat> old enough to remember chock full of nuts and sitting on a one of those turnaround stools on Broadway, a chock full of nuts down in the city. And, um, I, and now I just love all different kinds of coffee. I like Jameson. Jameson is good. They've been around for years. Jameson, yeah, yeah, they've been around for years. And I'm trying all this stuff now. Oh, oh that's, oh, French press. You use a French press or? Michael, I don't even know these terms, French press. I, I thought that was a, I thought that was Marie Chevalier being, you know, forthright and pushy or something like that. For those of you that remember Marie Chevalier, that would be a French press or something. I don't know. It's a, it's a bad. I was really reaching for something there. Like we'll do a little bit of this, and you know. Be the best, able 
able to stand up to any request Wanna handle too at the very same time Wanna be bilingual and in my prime Read the Sunday Times from the front to the back And never want for what I lack There's so much that I can see Buzzed out on coffee this day won't escape me Buzzed out on coffee Need can be blame free Buzzed out on, buzzed out on, buzzed out on coffee Travel a world, live a year in each place, see my life take shape through a different face. I want to be on the front, I want to be in the back, behind the scenes, want to be in the act. I want to write a play, want to write a book, want to build a house, I want to be a cook. There's so much that I can see. This day won't escape me Buzzed out on coffee Need can be blame free Buzzed out on, buzzed out on Buzzed out on coffee Maxwell House? Oh, it wasn't Folgers? Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, Alexa Hente, I remember. Uh, the people rejoice. Yes, the people are still rejoicing about Alexa Hente. Starbucks has taken another, another road. Um, so this, uh, this is um, just a, a couple of more songs, and this is um, a song by Richard Rogers. And when I was around 25 years old, you know, as you get, when you get older, you have all these stories because you've lived a long time, you know. And um, so I was hired to play at the Hotel Pierre 
uh, which I think, I think is still in the city, and it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel for years of you who've been there. And it was, uh, I had a band, which was a rock band. Actually, it was called um, Gunch. No, 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 it wasn't Gunch. It was Woha was the name of it. And, and those letters stood for something, and I, I really can't say what they stood for because, you know. But we were playing at a... a Willard Galen, who was a psychologist that had written this book from, uh, he had written a book about guilt being a good thing. And I had seen him be interviewed by David Suskind back in the day when David had his show on TV and everything. So Willard Galen recommended us for this job because we played enough jazz tunes and other things other than Louie Louie and Hang On Sloopy and Beatles songs and everything, which of course we loved. So I asked the band to show up in tuxedos. Now these are all, you know, all the guys had hair down to their shoulders and, you know, the whole, you know, we were all Woodstockers, of course. And uh, so the bass player, whose name was Buffalo, showed up. We all had tuxedos or had borrowed one from our dads and stuff. But he showed up in one of those tuxedo shirts. Do you remember those? Were they, you know. Was not exactly, in my opinion, paying a heck of a lot of respect to Mr. Richard Rogers. So, <laughs> but in any event, it was this cool little party, and um, and Richard Rogers was sort of sitting there, and there was Peggy Cass and Maureen Stapleton, and uh, who else? And um, Phyllis Newman, a whole bunch of New York theater people, and and I had a play right in front of Richard Rogers sitting right there, which and you know some of the guys in the band because we were playing so much rock and blues and stuff, didn't even know from Richard Rogers, and I of course was every nerve ending in my body was vibrating, having to have one of the master songwriters sit, you know, to you. But anyway, so we made it through, and um, it's a long way of saying I'm going to do a Richard Rogers song. So. <laughs> Oh, there's a punchline. <laughs>
musical audience that is very patient and I love this chapel and I love the acoustics in here and um, and I want to thank Michael Schwartz for came out to see us at a festival and stuff and Michael Schwartz and I don't remember the names of everybody I know there's Virginia right Virginia Stillman yes wow I should quit while I'm ahead now and there's Sherry Yes, who did like this? And I know. Is there a Regina? No, okay. That's what I do. I, I keep going till I'm wrong, and then you go, well, just sit in the back of the room, and you don't get any food. And so anyway, this was written by the great Harry Warren. Um, I had done a song. By the way, there's albums in another room. There's... Uh, the Wheels of Commotion, and there's another album I did, Economics of Love, and a uh, two guitars album called Bending Time. Uh, that's here. And um, But anyway, this man, Harry Warren, wrote this song, and you remember it. Come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. So, as is my want, sometimes at two in the morning, I just reharmonized it, and uh, I hope you like it.
Wow, Michael. How'd you know I was going to do that? Oh my gosh. Michael Getz. He did, I mean, we never played that. You know how we like just got the last note together? You guys know. It was like, wow. Set. You know how we all operate on a couple of different levels? We've got the cognitive state that we, we make our day through and get our ducks in a row and try to get an order or disorder as I get in and, and stuff. And then there's this whole subconscious thing going on where we sense things. And Michael just sensed a note. It was a beautiful, that was nice. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna do a blues. This, this was originally done by, well the first time I heard it was by the Almond Brothers. And it was actually written by Willie McTell. We're just gonna do a blues in A. Yeah. Something sweet and shy. Well, I'm going to the country. Baby, do you want to go? Better let me know where you're at. Your sister Lucille's ready to take your place and go. Monday, baby, but Tuesday's just as bad. Sunday's worse. No, it's Thursday's worse, and Friday's oh so sad. No, it's Wednesday's worse. Eagle flies on Friday, but Saturday I go out to play. Eagle flies on Friday, baby. Saturday, you bet I go out and play. Sunday, I go to church.
Turn your lamp down low Well, wake up mama Turn your lamp down low You got some loving Turn Uncle John from your door You're the prettiest woman That I ever did see King, I'll treat you. If you treat me like a king, I shall I'll treat you. If you treat me like a king, I treat you like you a queen. Sometimes you just have to do that. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you to the committee. Sounds like a Frank Sinatra mafia movie or something, doesn't it? The committee. Thank you to the committee. Very cool. Thank you for all of your help. This is a great place. Mr. Michael Getz on bass. Safe journey, everybody. Take care.